everybody. Happy Thursday. It's been a little gray and rainy, but June is just around the corner. I am here with Jolana. We haven't seen you in a while, Jolana, no. but you're going to tell us what we can do in the month of June in the garden. So what do you have? Well, first off, with all the rain that we've been getting, the best thing you can do is turn off your sprinkler systems. I, the ground is super saturated, and until everything dries out, um, seriously do not turn them on it's a waste of it's a waste of money and water for that reason uh, when the, it does dry out one inch a week is all your yards are going to need because if you have st augustine and all this water you're going to have brown patch and it's not going to look very good when you do mow mow every four to five days uh, so the grass doesn't go into stress or anything like that and speaking of all the water <clears throat> where you have standing water try and empty those containers in your yard because mosquitoes are growing there and a lot of people think that they ha need to spray with insecticides to kill those mosquitoes if you must do that do it in the evening after the bees have returned to their hives because we don't want to kill off our bees which are so precious to us in our pollination also good time now that your flowers have pretty much taken over for your summer your your perennials you've got spots in your garden where you'd like to have some color look at those areas from both the inside of your house and from outside and pop in some annuals to just give you that little bit of pop of color and you can lightly fertilize those to keep the flowers going the one thing i really want to stress is the fact that the weather we had last weekend we're going to have this summer Make certain when you're outside that you have on sunscreen, you have on a visor or a hat, you've got plenty of water nearby so you don't get dehydrated. Wear good gardening gloves and good gardening shoes. Those are very, very important things that you need to think about. Also, your hummingbirds and your bird feeders, keep them cleaned out and keep your bird baths also cleaned out because the birds would like some fresh water. Perfect. Well, even though it's a little gray right now, I know you mentioned it, but <laughs> it is going to be hot this summer for be sure. Hot and sunny. Yes. <laughs> so make sure you're taking care of yourself, just like Jolana said. We all want you guys to be safe as you get out there in your garden. But thank you, Jolana. Thank it's you. great to see you again. Mm -hmm. And you know where to find us again next week. So we will see you right back here next Thursday.